Across the countryside of South Armagh, you'll see glimpses of the past. This is an area of outstanding natural beauty and a place with many links to the legends of Ireland. We have Finn McCool on this mountain and King Connor of Ulster. Uh, his connections around here, so the place is just bursting with myths and legends. But this isn't just a place associated with mythology. For decades, it was one of notoriety. It's all so bizarre to find such hate and violence in a beautiful rural setting like this. The IRA were active here throughout the Troubles, giving it the nickname of Bandit Country. In response, the British Army set up many watchtowers which dominated the landscape. They're all gone now, but memories remain. This whole area would have been covered with trip flares, with barbed wire, low wire entanglements, claymore mines, general purpose machine guns. In fact, look here, that would almost certainly have been staked into the ground here. With Andrew Rodding is a Church of Ireland minister, yeah, but in the early 1990s, he was a soldier posted to South Armagh. We're in a stunning area, a really stunning part of the world, and yet some terrible things have taken place here, uh, done by all sides. It was the 1st of May uh, 1992 that a good soldier friend of mine, uh, Andrew Grundy, was, was, was killed. And um, in fact, it was only two months ago, in the last couple of months, I'd been to his grave. Some reminders of that time of conflict remain, but this is an area trying to build a new reputation. The Heritage Lottery Fund has given almost a million pounds for projects that promote and protect the great wilderness that is the Ring of Gullion. It's untouched natural beauty and to tag it with banded country just sours the whole taste of trying to get tourists here. This is where the roots of Ireland began, actually in the Sleeve Gullion, Ring of Gullion area. Attempts to attract visitors to this area were badly damaged by the troubles, but now there's a conscious attempt to make the most of its rich history and traces of past centuries can be found everywhere. From Vancouver, Canada, we're sort of a um, hundred years old and here it's thousands. And many who come searching through this area are looking to discover not only the history of this island but the roots of their families. They're blown away whenever you tell them the dates and everything but what the the foreign tourists love, especially the Irish disparate, is the names and all the graves. It's all about genealogy.